Hey, it's Lisa from Sounds of NorCal, and we are here at NAM 2014 interviewing some local Northern California peeps we found walking through the palm grove here. Why don't you tell us your name and uh, what you do? Uh, my name is Jason Angove, and I play in a band called Humble Wolf. My name is Kevin Prince, and I have a drum lesson site called drummer101.com and own 111 Studios. My name is Sean Stack, and I'm a producer engineer at Fat Cat Recording, and I play guitar in a band called Rings. These guys right here, powerhouse trio, right here. So, uh, what's your uh, mission? Right on. What's your mission for Nam 2014? Um, there's so much because I play guitar, bass, piano, and drums. So it's every room. Actually, I got lost from them yesterday for about three hours. Yeah. And I don't even know where I went. Yeah, they said they couldn't drag you out of there. Oh no. <laughs> no. Nope. I had to put a Facebook notification out to all of the friends at Nam saying, "Hey, if you find Jason, let him know that I'm back at the car, and him and Dave are out at front, sitting outside the front door." So, <laughs> how did that go? Did it work out it for does. you? Yeah. Th thank you for technology and social right. media. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, how about you, Kevin? What are you What are you looking for here at Nam? You know, I made a lot of good connections the past couple of years um, with different endorsements, the Soul Tone Symbols, Vic Firth Drumsticks, Reunion Blues, Cases, and I'm just kind of here now you know, paying homage to all the endorsed companies and meeting new people, just promoting the lesson site and, uh, you know, talking to a couple of drum companies, so. Awesome. Couldn't ask for better weather. How are you doing, Sean? Good, good. Are you uh, having a good time? I am, yeah, I'm having a great time. Good. I, I hear there's something about chicken and waffles. Who wants to tell the story? I'll take well, that's really why I'm, I'm here. I'm not really <laughs> looking for endorsements or any kind of... I mean, I'm here to hang out with my friends, but the main thing is chicken and waffles at Roscoe's Chicken and Roscoe's. Waffles. Roscoe's. So I would like an endorsement for Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, but that's pretty much why I'm here. And uh, what do they have at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles? Well, they have chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and they have waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Anything okay. else? So this trip down here, we kind of had, we, we're minus one right now, but we've had like this really cool, like in the straightest way possible, we had this really cool bonding and uh, Sean and I, we kind of came up with some, I, we, we kind of have some good ideas with uh, with drummer101.com and some little little comedic, you know, entertainment coming your way with some drum covers in uh, the next couple months. So uh, look out for that because we've been, we've just been making jokes and having a good time. So Awesome. You are missing one. Where is your cohort David Albertson today? Uh, David is at the Cordoba booth visiting a friend. That's like the first day. The first day here was just me, like Kevin said, running to all my endorsements and saying hey to reps and like meeting reps I've never met but converse with over email and phone. So it's nice to actually put a name to a face. And Absolutely. Yeah. So are you uh, interested at all in seeing any of the rock stars or doing any of the, you know, checking out any of the demos that they're doing? We, we just went to a couple of demos and absolutely, anytime we can get into a course and see something. Some of them are they're okay. I think some of them are dated. But like we've seen some pretty cool people. Mm -hmm. The technology sure has changed uh, over the years. And so, what would you say um, is the best thing about how music technology has evolved? Well, internet. You can, for instance, take drum lessons, and you're not in a brick and mortar business anymore. And you can teach in front of cameras and upload videos to sheet music, charge a subscription fee. And I mean, same thing with you know what Apple did with iTunes with music. They changed the music, you know, the way we listen to music and the way we buy music. And I mean, that's what everything is turning into now with the way you teach music, listen to music. I mean, everything, any craft, any art, anything. I mean, that's kind of the way it's going. Right. How about for you in the recording industry? Well, yeah, what's great is that you can send, you know, full projects. I get, I do mixing, mastering for bands that are all over the place. And so they'll send me projects, you know, Pro Tools files or audio files just over the Internet. And so I can get all those, and that's great. And obviously then there's the digital component to audio, which is Pro Tools. And, you know, we can manipulate things and do whatever we want with the sound. And, and that's that's fun. Cool. Well, we got a little serious there for a minute. But, um, you know, I want you guys to go promote Roscoe's. But, and but, honestly, but, honestly, <laughs> but, but not to get too much on that. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Right. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. There is Yelp, which is great digital technology where you can find the nearest Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. And I've got so. Google Maps to get us there as quickly as possible. Wait, we need to get them on the NAM app then. Yeah. Right? Yeah, do. Right, okay. They should have a booth. They should, they should have a booth. Exactly. They have a line longer than any musician's group. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys. Welcome down to Anaheim from Northern California, and thanks for stopping by and talking with us today. Thank you.